All right, guys, before we get on to the main video, I have a very quick geometry test for you. Ignore this back here. Well, I'll ask this question at the very end, what you guys think this is. I'm gonna hide the answer, okay? What is it? Ooh. Well, it is a pentagon. Ooh. Well, that is a hexagon. Ah. You guys are doing great. Ooh, oh my God. The last one is on this. What is this? Well, if you guessed a Gen 2 LT1 small block Chevy, oh. you are wrong. Here is the correct answer, a money gone. With that said, let's get to the video. Now that I got that out of the way, you know, we all have a limited budget if you're a DIY guy like me. You know, you only have so much money, you throw the money that you need to at parts that you know you're going to need, and then there's other parts you look at, you get them off of eBay or Amazon, you're like, you know what, I bet you that'll work just fine for my needs. I don't have the money right now to spend all that because we all have, let's just face it, we all have different responsibilities. And if you're not a big time racer with sponsors and all that, you're like me. Everything I do is on a budget. So today we're talking about the wrong right way to do things. And what I mean by that is, like say this, so you're getting a fuel system together, you got a new pump on there and you want to go through the track, right? So what do you do? You throw it all together and then all of a sudden you see one part on your fuel system is having a little leak. And of course, I know on these fittings right here, you're not supposed to use Teflon tape. And there's a right tape and a wrong tape. Doesn't mean that it's supposed to go on this. But what do you do when you want to go to the track the next day and everyone, I don't care who you are unless you're like a big, big name NASCAR racer or some guy who has an unlimited budget. Even if you're a grudge racer, you're going to just do things sometimes to make it out to do a race. I know there's a right way to do it, and I know there's a wrong way to do it, but there is a wrong right way to do it if you're gonna do this, and that's what we're talking about today. Okay, so I have both right here, and I'm not gonna go and lie to you guys and say I have never used the white stuff that you're not supposed to use on fuel in my fuel system. I have, you know, there has been times where I haven't had this and I've used this, but I've never had a problem because I've put the Teflon tape on these threads the correct way, and I know this is not the correct threads for Teflon tape. I know that, or PTFE, whatever you want to call it. For sake of the video, we're going to use this stuff right here, and I'll show you guys how this will work if you do it correctly. Now, if you look right here, look at that. You can see how that old O-ring right there, that's why it was leaking. See that little slit right there? And that's because you're using cheap China filters. You don't feel like spending like, you know, $250 on a name brand filter. And you just want to get down the road for $25 on Amazon. And these will work, but there is a wrong right way to do this. So first I'm going to show you the wrong way to put this tape on. And this is where majority of the guys I see who say, never use it, it'll get caught in your system. Blah, 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 blah. It's because they put it on like this. I'm just gonna wrap this guy around, get it up on all the threads. Mm-hmm, you know. I got it going the right way. Heck yes, yeah, that's, that's gonna seal up, right? Let's go ahead and put it into the filter body. Now let's go drag racing, baby. Okay, see, outside looks good. Turn on the pump. It's not leaking, but let's look in here. Up. Oh. God. See all that stuff in there? All that crap hanging out? Gear run teed. That after a while, that fuel flows in there and that fuel gets on that tape right there. Doesn't matter if it's even fuel resistant, that it will come off and clog something. And I can guarantee you 99.9% .9 of the time that anyone has ever complained about Teflon tape getting clogged in their system. It is because they've installed it like that. So let's go ahead and install this the correct way. 
All right, so it's time for the correct way. The easy way, I mean, I did put it on the um, correct direction. If you put it on this direction right here, like this, and then you get on your threads, and if you go ahead and start screwing it in, see how it's gonna start peeling this stuff back? So there is a correct direction you wanna put this on. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And it's really simple. This member, the end that comes out from your pump or whatever you're putting on, goes this way. And then you're holding this in your left hand, your right hand is here, and you wanna put this right before the first thread. See that? Right before. And if you pinch it, you can pinch this thing so it goes right there on the threads. And you can go ahead and just pull that back like this, off your O-ring, so no one will know that you got tape on there. See that? I'm pinching it in. I'm keeping it back from that first thread. Right? All right, we got more than enough on there that we need to seal that guy up. Go ahead and run a couple times. See that? Now I'm going to screw this guy in there. I can already feel that it's, it is on there good. All right, we'll, we'll pretend that it's tightened down all the way. On the outside, it doesn't matter. You can cut that with a little razor blade or whatever if you don't want anyone to see that. But if you look in here, now look in that puppy. I'm going to turn it around. See, I'm turning it around. There is not one section that that Teflon tape is exposed anywhere. And I don't care what you say, a little bit of fuel is going to probably leak past and get on that tape right there. But there is no way that that tape is going to jump past those threads into your system. And that's what I mean by the wrong right way to use Teflon tape. Maybe it's the right way, but I have never ever had an issue on anything as long as I install the tape just like that. And just remember, a lot of these fittings that are on your vehicle, like this regulator right here, these plugs, those are all NPT plugs for National Pipe Thread, which a lot of this stuff like this is designed to use either Teflon paste or tape. But just remember, even if you use the paste or if you use a thread locker so it doesn't leak, it doesn't matter. Don't put it before the first thread on anything that may get clogged in a solenoid, a jet, or your fuel injection. Because if it goes before that, if it dries and flakes off, it's going to make its way into your fuel system and clog something. And I know this is probably common knowledge to a lot of you guys, but there's always some people who don't understand why this is happening. And I just wanted to point that out. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe. Watch my videos, man. I got more coming. Peace.